I happen to be in a wheelchair, and it doesn't limit my message. Eleven months ago, paraplegic Gabriel Cordell was a drug addict who needed a change. He says he sobered up, joined the YMCA, and decided to do something never done before. Has anyone rolled across the country in a regular, standard, everyday wheelchair that represents the everyday person? No. Cordell says a car accident left him paralyzed 20 years ago, but that won't stop his journey from Santa Monica, California to Jones Beach, New York. He plans to see the country going five miles an hour. Because whether it's raining or not, we got to roll. He was even rolling through Oklahoma when the EF5 tornado hit. Let me tell you, it was just unbelievable to see that with your own eyes. And not only is he raising awareness for disability and addiction, but he has a film crew in tow to share his story with the world. This is the person I'm dealing with is somebody who doesn't park in handicap spots. He doesn't see himself as disabled. He doesn't, he thinks that spot is for somebody who needs it, and he is not one of those people. And the Seneca Chamber of Commerce says it feels lucky to be a part of Gordell's once in a lifetime journey as he rolls through their hometown. Here we are, a little town on the border, kind of get forgotten, but then this, you know, once in a lifetime deal probably, come through your hometown and you have a chance to welcome them into Missouri and show them what Missouri is about means a lot. And to Cordell, it is the people he's met along the way that makes the journey worth it. I want to inspire them and give them hope and, and make them realize that we are all created equally, so we all have the same tools within us to be able to accomplish whatever it is that we put our minds to. So from addiction, hardship to disability, Cordell has seen it all, and he hopes to pave the way for others to tackle obstacles on the road of life. In Seneca, Missouri, Liz Holiday, CBS News.